Hello guys, welcome back to the FE exam review series where we solve FE problems that you guys need to know to pass your FE exam. In today's video, we'll be covering a heat transfer section problem, specifically under part A, conduction. Now, let's dive in. Oh yeah, a long straight cylindrical pipe made of steel in an industrial setting. Now, the pipe is used to transport steam at a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius. Now we are giving the thermal conductivity of the steel pipe. And what we wanna do is we wanna reduce the heat loss. So insulation is being added to the pipe with a material having a thermal conductivity of 0.06. Now the environment where the insulated pipe will be placed has an average convection heat transfer coefficient with surrounding air of three. And we wanna determine the critical insulation radius for the insulation that is being added to the steel pipe. Now, before we start solving this problem, let's go over critical insulation radius. So when we want to reduce heat loss, we usually add insulation to the pipe or an object. But here's the problem. If we add too much insulation, then the heat loss actually increases, which is the opposite of what we want. And the reason why it increases, because now we are increasing the surface area of the pipe, and that will actually increase the heat flow. Now, if we add too little of insulation, the heat loss uh, or reducing heat loss won't be maximized. So at the critical insulation radius, we get the best balance, and then the rate of heat loss is being maximized. Now, the other thing guys to keep in mind is that at the critical insulation radius, increasing the conductive resistance from the added insulation offsets the decreasing convective resistance due to the larger surface area. Okay, so these are just concepts behind the critical insulation radius in case you guys get a conceptual question on this. So make sure you guys add these concepts to your cheat sheets and also make sure that you guys create your own cheat sheet as you're studying for your FE exam. Make sure you add all the important equations and concepts to your cheat sheet and you can review those right before your exam. Now you can also download our cheat sheet here which has very important equations and concepts that you guys need to know for your FE exam and if you don't get it to your email make sure that you guys email us and we'll be happy to send it to you. Now to solve for the critical insulation radius it's actually pretty straightforward all you need to do guys is go to the reference manual and grab the equation and just make sure that you guys plug in the right variables and then also watch out for the units so we do want the radius in millimeters so with that why don't you guys give this problem a try make sure that you guys always attempt these problems because that's how you're gonna learn and you're gonna be able to solve these problems on your own during the exam so give it a try and i will see you guys in a little bit Now, if you guys like this video so far, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps the channel out immensely. And then also, if you are enjoying these videos and you find these problems helpful, make sure that you guys check out our FE mechanical course that we just launched. Now, we cover a lot of concepts and a lot of great FE problems, and it has helped so many people pass the FE exam. Uh, now, we are almost done with finishing the course. We just need to upload the mechanical design and analysis section. So make sure to check it out and if you are taking fe other disciplines we are gonna launch the fe other disciplines course as well so make sure that you guys sign up here for any future updates now let's go back to the problem so to solve for this problem the first thing we gotta do is go to the reference manual so here under heat transfer we are giving the equation for the critical insulation radius so this is the equation that we're gonna use so we have k insulation so that's the thermal conductivity of insulation and then we're gonna divide it by h infinity which is the convection heat transfer of surrounding so let's go ahead and write the equation down and start plugging the numbers now let's go ahead and solve for the radius. So we have the thermal conductivity of insulation, which was given as 0.06. So let's go ahead and write that down. I'm also going to write the units as well. And we're going to make sure at the end they cancel nicely. And we might have to do a small conversion so that we can get millimeters. And then we're going to divide it by H infinity, which is the convection heat transfer coefficient of the surrounding, which was giving as three. So we're gonna 
do three here and then here we have watts per meters squared kelvin okay now note guys here that the watts and watts cancel and then here the kelvin also cancels and then here the meters also cancels with this meter we're going to be left with meters so here what we have is per per meter which is the same thing as meters right so if you guys plug these numbers in your calculator you're going to get 0 0.2 zero two meters okay now to go from meters to millimeters we just need to multiply this by a thousand and if you guys do that you're gonna get 20 meter millimeters <laughs> now if we take a look at the multiple choice the answer is going to be d i hope you guys enjoyed this video now before you go make sure to check out this playlist here where we solve a lot of fe problems that's going to help you guys with your fe preparation now thank you guys for watching i hope you have a great productive week and i will see you guys on the next video à la prochaine oh, yeah.